Well, Colleen, it's always good when we get this uh, this time of season and we haven't had a hurricane in the Tampa Bay area, but you're tracking Tropical Storm Melissa right now. Yes, and this is an interesting system, Dave. So anybody with interest in the Caribbean, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and the Cayman Islands, this is a, a system that you really need to pay close attention to. So let's go over the basics here. Melissa is currently near stationary. It is barely moving. It's moving at a snail's pace. We'll go over that in just a second. In the Central Caribbean, uh, strong winds are going to start up mainly for Jamaica and South Hispaniola, mainly Haiti, starting as early as tomorrow night. So that means, again, those plans should be wrapped to completion for those areas because those strong winds will start up in the next 24 hours. Uh, and then this weekend, we're expecting heavy rainfall, flash flooding, and landslides for those areas, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, uh, uh, Haiti, and the Cayman Islands. Those are the main ones. And again, the system is, it's very disorganized at this time. So we have some tropical storm watches in Jamaica. That's highlighted by the yellow. Haiti, the southern end at least, is highlighted under, under that hurricane watch in the pink. Now, here's the latest on Tropical Storm Melissa, the stats. The winds are at 50 miles per hour. The pressure is at 1,003 millibars, and then it's moving west at 2 miles per hour. That's what I mean by a snail's pace. Uh, the problem with the pressure is that it has actually increased. We look for a drop in pressure when the system is strengthening. The problem with a weaker system is that eventually, it will likely get stronger, right? When it's weak in the beginning stages. What's been happening here is we have wind shear that's been shearing this apart or leaving it disorganized and kind of tilting the center. Well, what's that mean? Well, the center just is not well defined. This is a pretty sloppy system. You see most of the convection now down to the southeast. Earlier it was more easterly. Earlier today, this morning, it was more northeasterly. So that wind shear is just blowing on top of the system and pushing that convection in all different directions. And it's basically tilting the center of the storm, not giving it a defined center. That becomes a problem when it looks for uh, the, these models look for a track or a trend and trying to get that cone together. We do, of course, have a cone from the National Hurricane Center. This is the official cone, but it is subject to change. And something to remember here, this is just an estimate of where the center of the storm will be, but impacts will be felt outside of the cone. We know that very well here uh, across our area with last year's storms. Here's the current tropical wind shear and these systems again do not want winds. They want calmer winds so they can thrive in their environment. Right now we have a trough that's digging through our area and these winds that are coming in from the west are shearing the system apart and that's why you're seeing that convection blown off to the east and to the southeast.